Today, we're going to learn how to crochet this spooky crochet ghost. This applique will work on any one of your Halloween crochet projects. The material that we'll be using are number four worsted weight yarn and a four millimeter crochet hook. Today we're going to learn how to make this easy crochet ghost. All you need is about 20 yards of yarn and that's it. So this will be perfect as a little magnet decoration or an applique on any one of your um, Halloween projects. So to start we're just going to use a number four four millimeter crochet hook and worsted weight yarn. I'm using Red Heart, Sup not Red Heart Super Saver, but Red Heart with Love in metallic. You can start with a magic ring or by chaining four, one, two, three, four, and joining it to the very first stitch to form a ring. We are not gonna chain one at the very start of round one. We're just gonna immediately put seven half double crochets into the ring. So complete your half double crochet, that is one. All right, pause the video here and put a total of seven half double crochets into the ring. We completed our seven half double crochets. See it with my magic ring, I'm able to leave this loop wide so I can work into the stitches later. So now we're just gonna slip stitch back into that very ring, very tightly, and we're gonna turn our work. We're not gonna be uh, chaining one, so turn your work. For row two, we're going to place two half double crochets into that very first stitch. One and two. We're going to continue placing two half double crochets in each stitch around and I'll meet you at the other side. We completed our half double crochets and for this row you should have a total of 14 half double crochets. And once again we're going to slip stitch directly into this ring. A nice tight slip stitch. Alright now we're going to be working on the body. If you're following along to the um, pattern we're on the body row one. We're going to chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. We're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. Now we're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across up towards the head. It should be a total of five single crochets. So pause your video here. Continue placing your five single crochets. We finished those five single crochets and now we're going to slip stitch back into the original ring. Make sure that slip stitch is nice and tight. If you're following along to the pattern, now we are row two of the body. Chain one, turn your work. We're gonna skip that first slip stitch and single crochet in each single crochet across. So remember, that's a total of five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to skip that very last slip stitch as you can see right here. So now we're on row three. We're going to chain two. One, two. Turn your work. Slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. One, two. There's your second chain. And once again we're going to place one single crochet in each one of your previous rows single crochet all the way across for a total of five single crochets. That's two, three, four, and five. Once again, slip stitch into the original ring. Make sure it's a nice tight slip stitch. Okay, we're going to chain one, turn our work, now we are in row four. Once again, we're going to skip that original slip stitch and single crochet across each one of these five stitches. One, two, three, four, and five. Now we're going to be working on row number five. For row number five, let's chain seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're going to slip stitch into the second chain from the hook. 
one, two, and slip stitch. We're going to place one single crochet in each stitch and single crochet all the way across. It'll be a total of 10 single crochets. So one single crochet from here all the way to the head. So pause your video here. I'll meet you after you complete your row of single crochets. If you're enjoying this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you're always up to date on all my patterns. We've made it to the end of the row and we're just going to slip stitch into that original ring. Ch Oops, sorry, you can't see my pattern. Chain one and turn your work. We are on row number six. As usual, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across, skipping the last slip stitch at the end of the row. So pause your video here and continue placing your single crochets. Okay, we made it to the very end of this row. For the next five rows, row seven through 11, you're just going to repeat rows three and four three times, ending on row three. Hope that makes sense. If you don't know exactly what row three or four, I'm going to leave a timestamp below on exactly where row three and four begins. So pause your video here, continue rows uh, seven through 11, and I'll meet you when you're complete. We've just completed row 11. If you haven't already, you can take that center string and tighten up your uh, center ring right there. So let's start round, not round, but row number 12. We're going to chain the run, turn your work. We're going to single crochet in the next five single crochets. Remember skipping that first slip stitch. One, two, three, four, and five. Now for the next three rows, row 13 through 15, you're going to repeat rows three and four twice, ending on row three. Once again, rows 13 through 15, that's a total of three rows. You're going to repeat rows three and four twice, ending on row three. So if you don't know where that is, I'll leave a timestamp below on exactly where row three and four are. We've made it to the very end, and I'm going to put my last slip stitch into that center circle and I'm going to fasten off my work. Like I said, you can pull that center string to tighten up your original magic circle or your ring. And here is your ghost. Simple as that and you can add eyes or whatever you would like to enhance your ghost pattern.